we have two veins here and another vein over here which is quartz crystal now this is shaped for a reason it perfectly fits two fingers whatever you use left shaped or right now it's chopped with the quartz which was put inside I can't believe it that was made by any nature this is advanced technology of using minerals crystals and everything on this planet so literally if we can find a way why and what for they use that we can copy it and use our energy to restore the Asian techniques but that's quite a long way small tool but well, we found a lot of different tools even smaller and bigger and huge exactly would similar fill in into the uh, stones. Can you call that an intrusion? It is intrusion. And it, ar artificial? Artificial. It's 100% artificial. There's no way nature... I study crystals myself. I use crystals for healings, for other stuff. There's no way crystals can go such in such a nice way into the stone. If there's intrusion, the crystal... Normally the stone is cut in different directions. Everywhere. And this is properly made just right in the middle for the purpose. And we have many proofs from tunnels of Ravna in Bosnia. Exactly the same thing. From different size stones. From, from different soils, different sizes, different stones, different. Uh, no, always the same crystal, always quartz. Because quartz is here everywhere. And the quartz, as we know, is very absorbing material which you can put uh, information in it and it holds it forever it's unlimited hard drive which now the technology of NASA is using to build uh, most advanced computers which flies into the space with a quartz uh, hard drive there's no hard drive there's a quartz inside and that's how they do it and this is example of very ancient times which we forgot all about the crystals. That's it. What's your name? My name is Tomasz Lelewski, independent archaeologist. <laughs>